Ben Cortique here for a Red Carpet Report at Paley Fest, talking to the cast of NCIS LA. Hi. How are you? You look lovely. Oh, thank you. So are you. So who are you wearing, by the way? Free people. Just out of my closet. <laughs> That's even better. I have two children and I work all the time, so I don't, you know, I mean, most people get stylists, but I'm lazy. Sometimes I do, sometimes I, whatever. It's from my closet. It's free people. <laughs> well, um, you have two children and you look fabulous. Uh, do you have any workout tips or health tips? Um, well, I think that in terms of health, the first step is being okay up here, to be honest with you. I think you got to accept yourself for what your shape is first. A lot of times I'm like, oh, people are skinny. I want to be skinny or I wish I had a bigger butt or a bigger, whatever it is. You know what I mean? And I think that the first thing that is important is that you kind of are okay with whatever your genetics are and then work with that. So if you have a naturally like bigger hips and you're curvaceous, I mean, first of all, it's in fashion nowadays, so own it. Um, you know, but that doesn't mean that you can't exercise and, you know, just, you do it. Just love yourself, basically. Thanks for that, because we all need to hear that more often. I mean, growing up, I was such a skinny kid. Like, I got made fun of for being such a skinny kid. And for the longest time, I would refuse to wear skirts. I wouldn't have, like, this outward, oh, I hate my legs thing, but I, but I just kind of did. Um, and I don't like my toes, and there's all this stuff that I... It, Listen, people look at you and they see what they see. You see the kid that you didn't like when you were, you know, 12 or 13 years old and going through that awkward phase. That's what I still see when I look in the mirror and I have to, like, consciously tell myself, you're a grown-ass woman. I can say ass, right? Yeah. You're a grown-ass woman, <laughs> a mother of two, and you've got to teach your daughter to have some self-confidence regardless of what she looks like. So you play a kick-ass character on TV. Just a good character, so i got to live up to my character. Well, how much do you think your character has evolved since you got into the show? Oh, my gosh. Um, I mean, probably not as much as I have because she hasn't yet started her family or gotten married yet. But, I mean, she's matured. We were, I was 24 when I started the show, and I think Kenzie was around that age, too, like the 24, 25. And now we're in our 30s. We, me and my character. We're in our 30s, yeah. So things evolve. You grow up. You learn what matters and what doesn't matter to spend your energy on. You know, her and Deeks have developed their relationship, and now it's serious. They live together. There's a proposal in the air, and... You know, and is there a scene that hasn't been shot yet that you really want to see happen with your character? We just got episode 23 and 24 in our emails today, so I have not read the two finale episodes, so I have no idea what's coming for the absolute finale. Um, but April 9th, there's a really fun episode coming up. I get to dance salsa, which I'm I'm very excited. I go undercover at a at a Cuban nightclub bar thing, and I get to dance some salsa quite a lot, so it'll be really fun. You gotta be sure to watch that. Yes, and April 9th, with love from Havana. That's what it's called. Thank you for the conversation. Take care. Thanks everyone for watching and don't forget to press that thumbs up button and hit subscribe and in the comments below let me know who's your favorite cast member.